Okay. So at a certain point in my life, I think that was about 10 years ago, my prayer life began to nosedive. I noticed that my prayer life was not doing too well. And so I want to share with you the things I did. Number one, I was desirous. I was like, God, help me. I need my prayer life to come up higher. I need my prayer life to just come up higher. I need my prayer life to just come up higher. And I'll say this to you. The more you fast, the stronger you are lacrity for prayer. There are times in my life, some people see me that, hey, this guy's a Bible smith. There are days in my life that I never feel like reading the Bible for weeks. But the more I fasted, the more the desire increased. Same thing, something. I believe that every Christian should fast regularly. Re when I mean regularly, I mean regularly. 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 Because when I was not fasting, and if it, there was no desire. So that's number one. Number two, um, I'll, do, I'll do a video on how I built fasting. How, how, I, how I built or how to boost your fasting life. Now, but let me go for that. Then there was a day that how I started was that I will start looking for night vigils every Friday. I'll look for night vigils every Friday. So I'll drive out on Friday night looking for churches that had night vigil, whether it was my parish, I mean, my church within Christian Church of God or not. <laughs> so <laughs> I didn't care. Once it was a Pentecostal, Pentecostal church, I went for the night vigil. So I'll look for churches, drive around Lagos where I stay at night looking for night vigils and just start. That was the step one. And so I was doing night vigils once a week. My church was doing a night vigil once a month, national night vigil, Holy Ghost service at Redemption Camp in um, um, the Moe and Shagamu area. So I went from once a month, night vigil once a month, to night vigil twice a month, to three times a month, to four times a month. And then I had a colleague. Then one day I was looking for a night vigil to attend. So I got to this night vigil at Bagada, Christ Church in Bagada. And then I, I the, 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 the Prison department was doing a night vigil. So I begged the woman that, can I, can I join this night vigil? She said yes. And she told me that there's a night vigil on Wednesdays as well. That you can come for that as well. So that means I started coming from night vigil not only on Friday, but on Wednesdays. Not only on Fridays, but on Wednesdays as well. So, so I was doing two night vigils every week, Wednesday and Friday. Then some people, I just used to talk about the fact that I love to pray. I love to pray. So, a colleague in my office said, there's a night vigil on Tuesdays at Ebutemeta, at the headquarters of Redeemed Presidential of God. So, I started going for night vigils on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, three. Then, um, after that, we started to build and build and build and build. And then, I heard of a brother. Hmm? that loves to do night vigils and he does night vigils every day so i went to him i said can we be prayer partners he said yes so we're doing night vigils every day but before that guess what one day i was i was thinking oh and then you see a lot of solutions you have are just around you and god just made me to remember that i had a pastor you know who lives not far from my parish and he said, call him and ask him whether both of you can be doing night vigils together. And he told me that, yeah, come here. I do night vigils about two or three times every week. So I was not doing night vigils with him two or three times every week. I would leave my house in Maryland and go to um, Surulere and we'd do night vigils together. So the desire is immediate. When the desire was there, the opportunity, I mean, I've had this friend all the while, but it was the desire that woke it up, you know. So that was how I built my um, prayer life to what it is today. I'll share a second video where I go for that. Bye for now.